Hello. Good evening. My name is Alberta Viola. Um, I do live abroad and I do see a lot of things. Today I want to speak to you Africans. It is so sad that a lot of you are not seeing the magnitude of the problem that is going on. It is so sad that we have leaders that are so self-centered, selfish, ignorant of everything in the world, apart from the money they are collecting and spending, that they are not even taking care of their citizens. How many of your presidents, how many of your MPs, how many of your leaders are not aware that as of now, Chinese nationals are maltreating and subjecting all blacks to inhuman treatments in China? How many of our leaders are not aware of that? Let's say you are not aware of that. Haven't any of your family members seen the videos online? Has no one ever shared a video with you of an African being maltreated drastically, being moved out of their homes, homes they've paid for? Are there no laws or rules in China? What is wrong with our leaders? What is wrong with you? Is it all about money? I don't care how many trolls or idiots or myopic people you send to my page to talk rubbish. But how the hell do we end up with shithead leaders like you? Are any of you seeing what is happening to our people? Are any of you seeing exactly what is happening to blacks in China to be specific? In Italy, there was a video that surfaced of a black man that was complaining of how a nurse told him to die. Go die, Negro. Go die. I don't care what you want to call yourself. You can call yourself anything. You're Ghanaian, you're Nigerian, you, you, you're Rwandan, you're Ethiopian. Whatever you are, you are black. Black Americans, you freaking black. And it's about time blacks united. How many of these white people or Chinese people do you see bully any uh, 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 Muslim? Have you ever seen any of these Muslim brothers being subjected to bullshit and crops like this? No, it will never happen. Because you know what happened? They are so united that if you mess with one freaking Muslim person, you're dealing with all of them. Why can't we as Africans unite? What is stopping all of you from refusing help from China and then fixing the freaking countries that we have inherited? We have gold, we have bauxite, we have oil. You people are freakingly, gullibly, idiotic at ruling Africa. Exactly how many of you were not owning houses when you became MPs? Exactly how many of you did not have shit to your name when you became ministers? And yet, today you and your family members can boast of your diplomatic passports. You can boast of traveling around. Today, travel anywhere and go and cure yourself a coronavirus and let's see. Why don't you travel for that? Travel to any freaking country apart from Africa where you're staying in your own country and tell them you have coronavirus, you've come to treat yourself and see the cage that will put your black freaking ass in. Why are we Africans so gullible? They came in, stole our gold, stole our God, presented us with a God that nobody actually respects. A God that African pastors are joking with. And we naively accepted it. Today, if you swerve anybody in power, anybody into parliament, anybody into a, a, a presidential office, they will steal because they are not afraid of the name of God. But take them to Novopo. Take them to any shrine. They will act accordingly. I was right here in this country when a useless lawyer in Ghana called Justin Amenuvo helped a lady steal money and lied to the Norwegian government about how much she had in the country. And this guy was the general secretary of the legal council in Ghana. These are the idiots that are in power in the country. These are the fools that are running the nation. These are the people that are taking every black person into the grave with their freaking useless brains 
educated illiterate is what I call you all. Why can't you people fix Africa? What is wrong with all of you? Can't you fix Africa? Can't you complain at least? Are you that inhuman to what is being subjected to all blacks in China? Are you telling me none of these black people, black presidents have seen any of these videos? Are you telling me that CNN, BBC, Al Jazeera, Fox the fucking racist network? They've all not seen it. Fox Network was able to bring a woman, Nanama McBrown's picture, of she kissing and romancing her baby on Fox News. Motherfucking useless piece of shit station. Racist bastards. They were able to show a woman who was kissing her child. But they are not able to show how China is kicking people who have contracts of residential permits. People who have hotel contracts. How they are kicking these blacks out on the street and quarantining them by force. Who the fuck gave Chinese the right to maltreat anybody? They are doing it because they know our leaders are rubbish. They are doing it because they know the blacks are not together. They came into the country and they said, let's divide and conquer. If you have a good president in Africa today, the white man will come and connively deal with the idiot behind that person and make them overthrow him. They did it to Nkrumah. They did it to Gaddafi. They did it to India and me. All the people that would stand up to their racist stupidity were eliminated by their own people because we blacks are not together. We are not united. We don't speak the same language. You call one black person and you give him a hundred dollar and he will tell you every black fucking person who's selling drugs in his building. You call one Chinese person and you give him a million dollar and he will still shut the fuck up. What the fuck is wrong with us Ghanaians? What the fuck is wrong with us blacks? Honestly speaking, I won't take anybody out. Because all of us are contributing to the problem. If you know the truth and you help someone tell lies, you are a part of our problem. If you know the government is not working and you support it because of tribalistic, you are a part of the problem. Yes, we need good government in Africa. But most importantly, we need a united Africa. We need an Africa that nobody can penetrate. We need an Africa that will stick out their neck for each other. We need an Africa that will speak for each African. We don't just need idiots in suits that are highly educated with no goddamn brains of what the fuck they are sitting on those thrones doing. We need people that are illiterate. That can't speak shit, but know how to put things together. We need people that care for the state, not care for their pockets. And what they are about to make as government officials. We need people that would move Africa together. People that will unite us and make us a strong nation. Make us a strong economy. Make us strong people, not people that will come in and divide and conquer. Are any of you not seeing those videos of inhuman attitude being mounted to all the blacks in China? If you tell me you're not seeing it, you are equally an idiot. You're equally a fool. Haven't you seen any of those videos? What are we doing? We sit in Africa and we talk. Eh, CPP, NDC, eh, eh, CNPP, eh, eh, FFF. Nigerians, you people have the mouth. You have, you have the audience to speak. Why are you quiet? South Africans, why are you? We are all Africans. Whether you like it or not, we are all in this together. All of us, every black person is being subjected to rubbish in China as I'm speaking. Africa, unite and fight. A time is coming, our children won't be able to do it because a lot of us are raising our children out here like animals without any cultures. Training them like they're white because they were born abroad. You're training our, your, your children without your own dialect because they were born abroad. What the hell is wrong with Africa? The Indian man gives birth abroad and trains his child with his dialect. <sighs> Chinese man does the same. Polish guy does the same. 
American dads, French person dads, only Africans. Oh, my kids can't speak our language. Well, because they're born here. When you speak it, they respond to you back in, in English, in Norwegian, in French, in German. Really? You're killing your own race. You're putting those children's life in danger. You are subjecting your children to official slavery and slander for the world. If we don't teach our children something, we're going to leave a bunch of weaklings that will be maltreated day in and day out. It doesn't matter how educated you are. You still get chicken shit pay when you go to work with a white person. It doesn't matter how diplomatic you are. You still get treated badly when you sit on a flight. Even in the first class, you're still a second class citizen. Africa, let's get up. Let's unite. Let's work together. Let's join forces. Let us protect our own. Every race is protecting their own now. Let's stick together. Let's make China accountable for what they are doing. Because nothing China is doing now to the blacks is right. You want to check anything out? Go to my page, Alberta Viala. You will find a whole lot of videos of these people being subjected to rubbish. Even food. They cannot go and buy food as blacks. They are being kept in the room to be quarantined. Who the fuck does that? Is CNN seeing this? Is BBC seeing this? When Ebola came to Africa, nobody was talking about it because, oh, hell yeah. Nobody cares about the monkeys when we die. Motherfuckers, coronavirus came, started killing your kind, and the news is all about coronavirus until they started killing blacks because of the sickness. Now, if you're a black person and you go to hospital with coronavirus, they will put your eyes down for you to die. They will not care for you. A man who's married to a Chinese woman gets removed from his house. His wife is asking them, why are you not doing the same thing to blacks and other nationals? The guy responded and said, it's only blacks they are quarantined. <coughs> Sorry. They're doing that because they know our leaders have collected their money and they will not do nothing. <coughs> Sorry. They know our leaders will not do nothing. Even if they're killing us. Right now, in U.S., in Italy, everywhere, check, 80% of the debt is blacks, foreigners. They're not just killing them. They're killing them and taking their body parts. They're taking their heart. They're taking their kidneys for their people that are sick. They're taking their eyes. They're taking their, their nose. They're taking their skin. They're taking everything good on us. Because we don't break as blacks. God made us in a way that we will not break. We don't break in skin. We don't break with disease. But these people are killing us and telling us we are breaking with coronavirus. When coronavirus is like getting a normal cough in Africa, like getting a normal uh, cold in Africa, like getting a normal malaria in Africa, we can go through that and not die. But for some reason, these people are killing the blacks and saying coronavirus is killing them. African leaders, get up. Stop wasting our monies buying houses and things abroad. Fix the nation. We have the things to use. Fix our economy and stop the bullshit things that you're doing. I don't care how many trolls you freaking send on my wall. I freaking don't care. I ain't going to respond to no negativity, no shit from nobody. But fix the nations. Unite as Africans. Make China accountable for the things they are doing to all blacks in China. I can't pay for a hotel and sleep, sleep in my own hotel room because Chinese people have decided that blacks should be on the street. What are you doing about it? What is your president doing about it? Bunch of you get up and share rubbish on WhatsApp and we forward it ignorantly without knowing. Forward this message to somebody. We need to get Africa together. We need to work together. Protect each other. Get your friends back. Get your brothers back. Get your sisters back. We are all Africans. Let's unite and see if they can fight us. Let's unite and see if anyone can fight Africans. Let's show them that we are more united, more together than they try to part us to be. Thank you and I wish you all well.